Welcome back to Dual World Gaming, and today I'm going to be reviewing Killzone Shadowfall for the PS4. Let's get into it. This Killzone takes place 30 years after Killzone 3, and it apparently it adds newer characters, and you take the role as Lucas Kellen, which is an orphan who Sinclair, like the uh, the main person of the army, I can't think of the and lieutenant I think I don't know but he takes him in he takes in Lucas and he trains him to became to become a shadow marshal which is kind of like the black ops of you know the normal the normal world so like the high the top tier of people in the army and you have to figure out the new like rising threat uh, against the 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 hell gas, which is the the enemies you have, the Vetka and the hell gas, and they live on the same planet, but there's a huge wall that separates them. So remember that. Now, like I said, you take the role of Lucas, and you're like one of the best out there for being a shadow marshal. And you go through all these different missions trying to find new stuff about this new weapon that the Hellgast are actually making or creating. And you have to, throughout these missions, you have to go through many tasks and you have to kill many, many enemies. Now, one thing I do like about this, this game and the story is it's not... As, it's not really linear that much. You can choose to do different things. Do you want to go around stealth? Or do you want to go guns a-blazing right through the front door? Um, do you want to, you know, set off traps? Do you want to hack security, see where everyone's at? There's a bunch of different things, and it's not just one linear, okay, you go through this room, go through this room, shoot these guys. You can do a lot of stuff, which I usually went guns a-blazing. And I didn't realize there was that many, uh, you know, ways to do it until, you know, probably like halfway through the game. Because the, the whole game I was just going guns and blazing. I wasn't really going stealth at all. So yeah, I, I do like that, that there's multiple, multiple ways you can play these missions. So yeah, um, to talk about something that I wasn't really a fan of is in the story... There's certain missions where you're in like zero gravity and you have to, you know, fly through the missions and it's kind of annoying, but it's also kind of fun because I don't remember the exact mission, but there was one mission where you're, you're having to attack a bunch of like drones in the air and that was pretty fun, but other missions I wasn't really a fan of when I had to use zero gravity, to be honest, but there wasn't that many things I disliked about this this game and the story the story was easy to follow um, and they had good characters now the voice lines sometimes slipped up and sometimes were bad but you also have to think this game was made in 2014 it's not 2021 any or it wasn't 2021 so yeah um, Right now, I guess we can uh, get into the guns and the weapons in the game. So, one of the newest additions to the Killzone series is you have your robot friend or companion called the Owl. Now, the Owl uses your Dual Shock, and whatever way you swipe up, swipe down, left or right on your controller, it has a different action. So you have, you know, your attack motion, you have a good, you have a shield, you have an uh, option to like shock your enemy, and then you have a zip line, which is probably my favorite because if you need, if you're on a ledge and you need to get down here, boom, zip line down. I really like that about this game and the owl adds a new aspect to a game which people may call a basic shooter 
a basic futuristic shooter, but it adds stuff. Now, for the so more stuff about the weapons, there's all types of weapons. There's, you know, your regular SMGs, your ARs, your um, sniper rifles, shotguns, rocket launchers, but they also have they also have knives, but it, they have different types. So there's like normal guns with just normal bullets, and then there's like energy guns. Now, the one thing I actually kind of disliked about the guns was when you start out every mission, you have two guns with you. You have your main assault rifle, which can turn into a sniper rifle, which I actually think is pretty cool. Kind of like Widowmaker if you've ever uh, played Overwatch. Um, then you have your secondary, which is your pistol. Um, you can only switch out your secondary for another gun. You can't switch out both. There was there was one mission where I wanted to carry uh, a rocket launcher and another weapon because my main AR had no ammo. And I was actually against a boss, so I wanted to carry a rocket launcher so I can get that boss a lot more easier. But I couldn't unfortunately so that was kind of annoying i wish you could you know change weapons but you know most of the weapons were really good and i i think there was balance to it because each weapon had their you know their pros and their cons and it actually showed you it like it would compare that weapon to the weapon you have holding which was pretty cool in my opinion so yeah, um, I didn't really talk about the multiplayer, or I didn't talk about multiplayer at all, because I, I didn't play multiplayer, I only played the campaign, like I said, I got this, what, a month ago, and um, the multiplayer servers are probably down by now, or nobody's playing them, so yeah, I didn't play it. Overall, I would say that it was a good game, it wasn't the best game of all time that's for sure but overall i would say i would give it like a an 8 out of 10 because i actually really enjoyed it um but it did kind of how do i explain this it didn't want me coming back like as much as other games that's why i didn't give it higher um I stopped playing it and then I didn't play it for weeks upon weeks because I kind of just didn't want to go back to it when I said just finally go back to it and play it which I did um, so yeah um, I will say this that the the ending was amazing <laughs> just amazing um, that's all I'm gonna say I, I don't want to spoil anything because if I did that would be horrible, because I love that ending, if I, and that got spoiled for me, I would have been really pissed. So yeah, I think that's going to be the, the end of this video, so yeah, go comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, make sure to go comment. Uh, have you ever played this game before? Uh, do you want to play it? Um, like I said, I highly recommend it. If you, if you find it for cheap, get it. I got it for $3, and it was a well $3 spent. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video.